Uh, but do you think this is the way future uh, contracts are to be built out? Uh, is this a sign of future times to come? Because Kyrie Irving, Ben Simmons, those examples from last season where they didn't play much and they are still getting paid for that thing. I don't think any team is okay with that. Like unless there's a legitimate reason. Do you think these are contracts? These are terms that will be built into contracts now for performance or like uh, you know what is it called? Is it incentive based? Yeah, I don't think it's okay. Maybe it's some sort of incentive based thing, but. Showing up uh, will be like you know cause for escalations and de-escalations. Is that is this the way? I that think it's already. It's, I mean, I don't think this is new. It's just that now we know about these things, and honestly, it just depends on like negotiation power of the player and you know what the player is willing to take as his or her responsibility. I don't think Kyrie and Ben Simmons like those are the kind of players that take res- responsibility for the actions. You know, it's. Okay. Certain people live in this whole like world of like, okay, whatever we do is right. It doesn't matter like what, you know, and I don't, I mean, that's why I was very impressed with this thing with Zion is because he took responsibility that, okay, you know, if this team is putting their trust in me, I have to give something in, in return. I, I don't have to. I don't think if, if he wanted, he would have, he could have said, no, I'm not going to sign this contract. And some other yeah. team would have paid him a lot of money. So... I think that it that's why I like that that both parties like amicably came to the situation. I think this is like this is a good situation for everybody. But some players some people are just shitty people, you know, like I think Kyrie, Ben Simmons, you know, they're just yeah. They fall in that category, you know. And then they'll say, Oh, but I you know, there's nothing wrong in negotiating. It's like, yeah, okay, fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong in it, but it doesn't mean you're a good person, you're a shitty person. And you know yeah. that's fine. Till till you're willing to accept it, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with being one as long as you understand that you are one, and that's why yeah. the person yeah, I mean, should do is that. Yeah, like yeah, that's that's kind of how it should be, I think. Like, see, I mean, if there's a market for Kyrie, he'll make money. If there's no market for Kyrie, he'll not make any money, right? Uh, that's just how it is, and. For him, if like I'm just trying to say, like if just from the de-escalating part, if the if Nets come to him and say, okay, you know what, we'll resign you, but you know if you need to play these many games, right? Yeah. And I don't think I think knowing Kyrie, he'll just be like, no, why should I? Why should I? This is like slavery, you know. Like he'll bring some like obtruse uh, meaning to it, rather than rather than simple like responsibility. This you is know. business and we are paying you to show up, not to not show up. Yeah. And then if once he says that, oh, is this labor, is bonded labor, you making me sign contracts, you know, all that stuff, then like, I don't know, it's just, yeah. So I, I think that these kind of things always existed in contracts and it was always like worked out between the player and the management and the team and everybody because everybody wants to win. Most people are good. You know, there are certain shitty people that make every life shitty for everybody else. But most people are understanding. They're like, okay, fine. You know, it makes sense. You're paying me like $200 million. I can take care of my health. You know, it's not such a big deal. So that I was, that's why that made me very happy to see that. 